Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a Walmart haul. This haul was $71. I needed the Reynolds uh, parchment paper cookie sheets. I don't really use these for cookies. I use them for pretty much anything I bake in the oven, whether that be like bacon or sausage or uh, veggies, potatoes. I use these for a lot of different things and they're so, so convenient. I absolutely love this product so much. I grabbed some more Danimal pouches. These boxes are only four in a pouch, so we go through, you know, like five to six a week. So I find I'm, I should probably just buy two at a time, but I grabbed the Toy Story cotton candy flavor. I am all out of, I was all out of my almond milk. I use this for my 310 smoothies every morning. So I got a vanilla almond milk before I had the plain one. So I'm gonna try the vanilla. Um, I got strawberries and bananas for my son. I am all out of my frozen fruit. I had the Wyman's, but I'm going to try the Great Value this time. So it's a strawberry and banana blend. I got the biggest bag they had, a three pound um, for my smoothies as well. I really like these Renews It, is that what it's called? Uh, air freshener things. I like them specifically in my laundry room. Um, and I also I'm gonna start putting them in my basement our basement is like almost about a month away from being finished We've been working on it for over a year um, Because it was completely unfinished. So it's been a big project for us and we're Finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So I grabbed a three pack so I can put one in my laundry room It just kind of combats that Laundry smell. Or I don't know that stinky. I don't know how to explain it like that washer and dryer smell musty smell so I put one in there and then I'll have, you know, a couple backups. Again, one of which I'll put in my basement when it's finished. I got the Hawaiian Punch Bomb Pops. I like these. My son likes these. My husband likes these. And I just like to have stuff like this when we have kids over. Um, I got some Danimal smoothies for my son. Again, the Toy Story. He's really into that lately. This one is Mixed Berry and Strawberry. I grabbed a few more yogurts for my husband. He really liked these two flavors the best. So there is Pumpkin Pie Spice. And this is his favorite one, the Salted Caramel Oikos Triple Zero. I'm not going to give them to him every single day in his lunch. I did the first week because I really wanted to see if he liked them, if he got sick of them, that kind of thing. He said he really liked these two flavors the best. So I'll probably do like every other day or maybe a couple times a week just so he doesn't get burnt out on them. Um, but I'm happy to hear that he likes them. I got some hard salami for sandwiches. A few of you guys asked me to show the packaging for this product. This is the Hormel 1891 Butcher Quality Pepperoni Bites. They also have the Salami Bites, but I do like the Pepperoni Bites better. Um, these are a good little snack to bring to work, um, to school if your kids like pepperoni or salami. My husband likes these with like a cheese stick and crackers, and I find them at my Walmart in front of the deli case. They have like different displays and they have these in that area, just an FYI. I needed more of my Zyrtec. I get the Walmart brand because I honestly see no difference, at least for me. I've bought the name brand Zyrtec. Um, I like the Walmart brand. It works for me just as good as Zyrtec and it's a whole lot cheaper for 90 capsules, so three months worth. It was like $17, which is way cheaper than the name brand. So just wanted to give you a heads up because I know a lot of people are suffering with allergies this time of year. I know my husband is. We're, there's a lot of ragweed here. So if you take Zyrtec, try the Walmart brand. You'll save yourself money. Um, my son needed new slippers, and I found these. I thought they were so cute. They're very Adirondack, which is where we live in the Adirondack Mountains. Very, very, like, plushy and cozy. Um, they had a four to, size 4 slash 5. My son is in a size 5 shoe right now, but... They look big, like the five six looked huge. So if these are too small, I'll just return them. They were four ninety eight, and I'll just get the bigger size. But I didn't want them to be too big and slip off his feet. But they have like a kind of like a lumberjack flannel in the inside. They're just really cute for under five dollars. So I grabbed those for him. I got some polar raspberry lime seltzer for my mom because whenever she comes over, she really likes seltzer. So I like to have at least a six pack in my basement fridge for those times. I also grabbed some clear American Mandarin Orange uh, Mandarin Orange sparkling water for myself. This is sweetened with like a diet sweetener. Just wanted to give you the heads up because I know some people can't have it or don't like it. The aftertaste, it's like a diet 
flavored sweetener in here. And also we needed napkins, so I usually get the Mardi Gras because I really like them. Also random, I wanted to share with you guys these items I got from TJ Maxx because I am obsessed with these. So a few weeks ago I was at TJ Maxx and um, I saw these. They're the Live, Live Clean brand, which I had never heard of. And a lady was buying like all of them. So I had just met, I just asked her, you know, I'm assuming these are good since you're buying all of them. And she said they're amazing and they're super cheap. She said she absolutely loves them, um, but she literally was buying all of them. So I wasn't able to buy any. Anyways, I went back today just to see if they had them in stock and they did. So first off, they are 98% plant-based ingredients. I believe they have a lot of organic ingredients. Yes, it says plant derived certified organic botanicals. Um, they just have like good ingredients. Uh, they're made in Canada, I believe. Um, never heard of this brand, but I'm thinking they're good because the lady was literally buying everything they had. So the lotions, they're all pump top. I have a love hate with pump top, pump top um, bottles because sometimes they malfunction. But anyways, $3.99 for the body lotion. They smell incredible. I actually unscrewed the top um, on one of them and smelled and it was really good. So 17 ounces, $3.99. So I got two lotions because we're going into fall and winter and I get a lot drier um, skin. So I got two lotion pump tops in the uh, coconut milk, which smells amazing. $3.99 I thought was a great deal. And then I also decided to try one of their liquid hand soap, same brand, same scent but a hand soap, and this was only $2.99. So hopefully they're good. If so, I'll definitely be looking for more scents and products from this brand, but yeah, I, I don't know, I just thought it was a really good idea, a really good deal, um, and I like the ingredients, and I like the smell, so hopefully it works out. Anyways, $71 for all of this. Obviously, the TJ Maxx stuff is separate, and I will see you guys in the next haul after this one. Okay, so this haul is from Target. This haul was about $110. And I'm going to start on this side. We are going to a birthday party on Saturday, the day after you're seeing this. So I had to get some stuff for that. So this is just the gift bag for the gift. Uh, the gift card for the little boy. It's one of Grady's friends. And then a little card to put the gift card in. I am going to try these Yoplait smoothies for Matt's lunches. Um, I've never seen them before, so hopefully they'll be good and they'll be nice to throw in his cooler. Beef broth for a recipe. I got the low sodium market pantry. One of these Febreze plugins. I had a coupon for this, which is why I got it. I do use the Bath and Body Works wallflowers, but the coupon was really good on this. It only ended up being like $2.50, and then I can just buy the refills if I wanted to. I'm going to try these tuna creations for Matt. I got a couple, so this is ranch. And this one is herb and garlic, and I thought they'd be good for throwing on top of like a bed of lettuce and veggies or even in a wrap. Some bananas for my smoothies, and Grady eats bananas as well. I mainly was on the hunt for this. It's the Starbucks Cinnamon Dolce Creamer, and it's been sold out every time I've gone. They had the caramel one, and an, I think it's the white mocha one, but this is the one that I wanted. It is pricey, but I can't find it anywhere else. It's always sold out at my Price Chopper in Hannaford, and Walmart does not carry it. I grabbed some Jimmy Dean regular pork ground sausage for a recipe that's going to go along with the beef broth. This little M&M bar, it's like an M&M minis bar, goes along with this little boy's gift. Um, and then this is the last piece to the gift. It is like a Super Mario Brothers long sleeve like baseball style shirt so he'll get the shirt the candy bar the gift card obviously the birthday card and i'll just put everything into this bag these i have never seen either they are the choi bani um yogurt tubes so just like gogurt squeezes but they're choi bani so i'm going to try these for my son i got them in the cherry flavor they also had mixed berry but i thought he would like the cherry better and then I'm trying some of these Choi Bani flips for my husband's lunches. So this one is cookies and cream vanilla chocolate chip low fat Greek yogurt with the chocolate cookies and creamy icing. I, I don't know anything about these. I just thought they looked interesting and you just flip the like topping into the yogurt. So I got cookies and cream. I got salted caramel crunch and then the peanut butter cup. So hopefully he'll like those. I found this 
uh, eight pack of the Body Armor Superior Hydration in the Orange Mango. I found the strawberry one at Walmart and did not know Target carried them, so I grabbed this at Target. And then I also found these Market Pantry Dark Sweet Whole Pitted Cherries, no sugar added, that I'm going to do in my 310 smoothies. I just thought it would be good to go along with the chocolate flavor or the toasted coconut flavor. thought that would be a good addition. We needed eggs, so I grabbed those. And then I did get an, a little Halloween outfit for my son. Not Halloween, but like Halloween time. So these are just like these spider web joggers. They just have like a spider web print and a little zipper pocket and just the jogger style bottom. And then to go along with the pants, I got this little baseball style shirt. It's the cat and these are both cat and jack by the way. And it just says boo on the front of it. It has black sleeves with the orange um, body and it's just like a little baseball style shirt. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything from Target today and I'll share with you now my meal plan for the upcoming week. Okay, so here is my meal plan for next week, tentatively at least. Uh, this has been a crazy week. Uh, we got back on Monday afternoon and it's just been an insane week. Tuesday morning we went back to work and uh, my brain is pretty scrambled. Uh, I'm actually filming this on Thursday night, the night before you guys will be watching this. So I, first and foremost, I hope you all have a great weekend in case I forget to say that at the end. Um, so meal plan for next week. I'm going to do tuna casserole because I had it on the meal plan for last week and it never happened right there so I moved it over for this coming week tuna casserole for Matt I don't eat tuna so I'm just gonna have a big salad I want to make a turkey meatloaf like an actual whole meatloaf um, with some rice and then some of the Trader Joe's green beans the Ercovair green beans I'm gonna do the sausage and bean soup which is why I bought that Jimmy Dean sausage as well as the beef broth and then I add in a couple different cans of beans and different veggies peppers celery onion it's just a really easy good soup and I can throw that into the crock pot. I'll have everything prepped. And what I'll do is come home on lunch and throw everything in the crock pot. I'll have everything ready to go and just turn it on so we can cook till I get home. I'm going to do one of my potato breakfast skillets. I just use the Walmart potatoes, like the frozen hash or home fry potatoes. And then I add in veggies and eggs and sometimes like sausage or bacon or ham. It's just a really easy uh, breakfast for dinner meal and then for our no meat night next week I'm just gonna do grilled cheese tomato soup and I put salad with a question mark because I'm not sure we'll need it with the sandwich and the soup of course I have my freebie night and then next week we are going to my mom's house for dinner probably on Sunday I also can't believe we are in pretty much in October now I mean next Saturday is October 5th already it's just insane to me but anyways thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on Monday with a new video